Dan Brady. I'm here with Jordan Merson, a prominent New York attorney who has represented women, I guess, Jordan, in a number of high profile cases, Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein, Larry Nasser. Welcome. We're now talking about the Donald Trump um, case that is currently before the courts. Let's just say, um, is this a case you would have taken on if the victims had come to you? Well, I mean, when a case comes into my office, what's important in these cases is that you have um, what we call corroboration so that it's not just he said against she said. So, you know, in this case, it appears Miss Carroll actually has pretty good corroboration. So I can't replicate what would have happened if she would have called in and um, we would have had a chance to meet with her. But it would have been a case that given the corroboration that she does have, we would have been very interested in. No, we've certainly heard her testimony and we've heard it prior to, of course, this particular court date. Talk about the New York law, this retroactive law. There's a very brief window in which these cases are coming forward. Is that correct? It's going to close at the end of this year? Yeah, so on the heels of the Child Victims Act, which had a one-year window, uh, for any sexual abuse survivors to come forward, uh, regardless of when it occurred. So we've represented victims who were sexually abused in 1940s, 1950s. Um, that window was one year. Um, it actually was extended to a second year because of the COVID pandemic. Um, and now there is the Adult Survivors Act, which as a, which which runs through November, late November of this year, and allows adult survivors, those who were 18 and over when they were sexually abused, to come forward and file a civil lawsuit. Um, and the st and it doesn't matter when it was. The statute of limitations is not an applicable affirmative defense in these cases. 